Well, it's a remarkable sight from Drone 4 just south of Colorado Springs. Thousands of recalled VWs sitting in a parking lot. Now, that recall has landed Colorado tens of millions of dollars, and today the state got feedback on how it should be spent. CBS4 investigator Rick Sowinter has been reporting on the emission cheating scandal. He joins us live from a VW dealership. Rick? Well, Dominic, the objective seems to be to get the dirty diesels off the road and replace them with cleaner vehicles. And what's happened to all those VWs that were rigged to beat the emissions tests? You can see them right off I-25. They were billed as the new clean diesels. It turns out that was a lie. And now this lot at Pikes Peak Raceway is purgatory for thousands of cars that the automaker has had to buy back as part of a court settlement. And each owner who bought the VWs or Audis is being given five to $10,000 in restitution. My son bought a Volkswagen diesel and he was quite, uh, I think the word is chagrined. Phil Nelson of Golden was one of those who filled this room, many urging the state to put a good portion of the $68 million from Volkswagen towards aiding electric vehicles. I like this one. Um, I've also been in other electrics, which are um, also equally quiet. The VW money is being proposed for electric car charging stations, cleaner transit buses, and alternative fuel vehicles. But one man at the hearing felt the process is not open enough. People who are in positions of power have heard about settlement, but the people that are most affected by the possibility of this money is going to them don't even know about it. In the past, we showed how Volkswagen not only cheated its owners about emissions, but beat the state-sponsored tests. Now the company is to pay back Colorado with cleaner air. And those are just among the hundreds of thousands of vehicles that sit in lots like that that are either going to have to be fixed to meet emission standards or scrapped. Live outside of EW dealership, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thanks, Rick.